Mic check, mic check. Alright, good morning. It's uh, 7 uh, a.m. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I just woke up right now. I'm usually not up at 7 ever. <laughs> My brain's like, what's happening? What are you doing to me? We are doing the Jingle Mingle Jamboree Market. I'm excited. Um, I was anxious last night. The Video Game Awards just happened last night. Here are my highlights, just real quick. The God of War Ragnarok Valhalla DLC seems pretty cool. I wasn't really that hyped about it in general, but then they're like, it's completely free. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I can't complain about that, I'm, let's go. And I just, I literally just beat God of War Ragnarok. Have you seen the teaser trailer for Kimuri? I just saw it, literally now. I woke up and I was just like, let me just scroll on Twitter for a couple seconds. And I saw the trailer for Kamuri. That was awesome. That looked amazing. Here's a short clip of it. Jet Set Radio. These are like announcement and Crazy Taxi. That means a lot to me. I love Jet Set Radio, and I've always wanted another Crazy Taxi. So that's like insane to me. So that's amazing. Also, I'm gonna wear a, a Santa hat today because I just read the rules yesterday where it's like, well, it's not rules, but it's like, wear Christmassy stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat food. I'm excited about the games I just said. I'm sure I could say more, but we, we gotta get going. All right, we just arrived at the Margate Sports Complex, and uh, we're gonna go set up the table now. Um, so yeah, see you there. So I'm setting up the table right now, my dad's helping me. Um, I set up, we set up the background first, and I like it decently well enough, but the problem is the wind. The wind keeps pushing everything around like crazy. And I tried to like kind of tape it to it or something, and I mean, I could try to over tape, over tape these things, but um, I feel like it just looked bad, and it, it would ruin the art too, because I'm gonna have to peel off the, the tape uh, afterwards and it's definitely gonna peel off the ink my ink will definitely be peeled off so um, I think maybe I might just like kind of give up on the background so that's where I'm at right now all right hopefully the mic is picking me up okay there's a lot of wind um, there's also loud music going on and right now there's uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks playing um, I got my Santa hat on um, I finally made a sale I made a sale and it is I don't know what time it is <laughs> Maybe 11 something. I had a half a sandwich. Here's my table. And stuff keeps flying. Well, stuff hasn't flown off in a little bit. But here's my stuff. Got my doodle commission set up in case anyone's interested. Uh, I got some people enjoying the keychains, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, I had I had some signs and art on my backdrop, but I got rid of them because they were like flipping out like crazy and I did not want to like worry about it anymore because they were like flipping out and spinning and turning so I'm like eventually I feel like they're gonna rip off the clamps that they had on uh, that I had on top so I just got them off and then I almost took down the whole background but I'm like eh, this is okay I just have like a background that blocks the back way but it was all right so that's how I'm going so far so yeah feels cool to have a first sale
So, quick update. I just sold recently a $5 doodle commission. It's a brand new thing I've wanted to try to do and it actually went well. It was pretty sweet. I don't know her name but she was very appreciative of it and she loved it and I was very happy. Um, this is not the doodle because I already gave it to her but you know, I'm do I do doodles like this. Pikachu, Mawio, and she wanted the uh, this like anime character, uh, Vash the Stampede. Um, I actually didn't know, I never watched the show, but I, when I saw the character, I'm like, oh, okay, at least I kind of know this character visually. It took a couple tries, to be honest. I took like three starts. I started three times, and then uh, the fourth one, I'm like, okay, I kind of have a composition in mind of where to put his where to put his hand, where to pose his like gun, because he has this, like giant gun thing, kind of like uh, Hellboy or something. Um, and it went well. She liked it, and I was like, yes. Because like, yeah, I'm, it's new to me doing these like doodle comment commissions, so I'm like slightly worried that they'll hate it, but at least it's like a cheaper thing to get, so it's like, if anyone actually doesn't like it, it's not a huge letdown, I guess, that's my mentality on it. Yeah, that was fun, that was cool. Thank you so much for commissioning me for the doodle. I actually finished the Yokai Con one like three days ago. I just bought something from Otaku Comics and Games, and they are super nice. Scan that for stuff. And I bought this cool blind box. It's like Zodiac. I saw this on Instagram and, and a few other places because I follow a bunch of um, like vinyl toy artists and things like that. And uh, I got one of these. Check it out. Yeah. There's a lot of different designs. They're based on the Zodiac animals. There's also a secret design. It's a blind box. And uh, I already opened it and check it out. I think, because I don't know specifically, but I think she's like either the ox or she's a goat, maybe. Check it out. Super cute. I think maybe it's supposed to be an ox, I think, but I guess I'll have to do my research. <laughs> Her cute little like brown, grass crown thing is really nice. The colors are super great. I love this. This convention I was doing uh, $5 doodle commissions. Your favorite character. I drew a goofy little Luffy and this is my Tony Chopper little doodle example. I've done four. I've done four of these, which is great because the cost to do this, this is like, by the way, this is the back of my setup, you know, it's very messy. Um, I actually slightly cleaned it up just now, so it's like less messy. There's my keychains back there. And those are, literal, those are literal weights because there's a lot of wind and the wind will like take the whole thing down if I don't have these planted in there. But yeah, so it's cool because these this is a pretty inexpensive purchase, just like a notepad and some Sharpies. And I did four or five dollar commissions, so twenty dollars. So I've already made like a profit on this specifically, so that's really cool.
I hope you guys can hear this music. If you can't hear it, I'll, I'll sing it right now. It's the song that's like, it's like a parody song where it's like, I don't remember what the, what the real actual like song is. It's like, I can count to one, I can count to two, I can count to three. What comes after two? Hey, tell the boys we're leveling up tonight. Hey, I'm Crystal Face. And I drew some stuff. Do you like pirates? Do you like magical fruits? How about acrylic keychain charms? I drew and designed 12 <laughs> designs. I drew and designed 12 double-sided keychain designs with more planned in the future. Every single keychain has a pirate and the corresponding fruit on the other side. There's clowns, reindeer, villains, stretch boy, stretch brothers, scaly man, and other designs as stretch goals. Both sides of every keychain will have a layer of epoxy, resulting in a smooth, rounded, satisfying texture. So if you'd like one of these lovingly crafted acrylic keychains, there's an early bird tier you can pledge at to get a discount. So get your pirate fruit acrylic keychains today! That is the end of the video. Thank you so much, uh, Flynn's Arcade, for hosting the first ever Jingle Mingle Jamboree Market. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was great to meet uh, some new people. It was good to see uh, Sam again from Tiny Tiny Crafts. Thanks to my uh, dad for helping me out setting up. But thanks so much for watching. I'm going to try to post at least one video a month so i hope you guys stick around for that um i sincerely hope you enjoyed uh the video and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye